Guys, most of you should not be an entrepreneur. These are seven reasons why you're never going to be a successful entrepreneur. It's a hard journey and it's pretty shit. Number one, you want more money? Well, let me tell you, if you don't have money to start off with, how are you gonna get ads? How are you gonna raise capital if you can't sell as well? How are you gonna take care of your kids while you're trying to get this business even off the ground? Also, if you're desperate for money, you're gonna look at every single get-rich-quick scheme there is. So that's not a good reason. You like the power it gives you. Ooh, I'm the CEO of filling the company here. Come on, guys. Either that's an insecurity or you just have an ego problem. Being an entrepreneur is not all that fancy. And if you don't have your name out there, like Bill Gates does, no one's even gonna know you're CEO. You want more freedom. Now, some of you hate your nine to five job, and I get that. It can be a little bit annoying. However, you know what you get to do? You get to work any day of the week because this business is going to take out everything from you. This whole lie about, oh, four weeks, only four hours a week and I'm done, it's a lie. To get it started and to keep it running is going to take effort. You like your job. Now, there are a lot of people who are going around saying you need to quit college and quit your job and tell your boss to F off. Well, for some people that can be the truth. However, some people generally like their job and they shouldn't be put down for that. The job industry has a nasty name now for being the place where everyone is in this little cubicle, hates their life and just wants to die and also has no money. That's not the case. That some people have a genuine passion for what they do. So if you do want a job, don't let others take that away from you. It's your decision after all. You think you're going to have a huge army. You're going to walk around and everyone's going to know you. You're going to be famous. You're going to have your name on billboards. You're going to have a team of millions of people around the world all working for you. Let's cut the case. That may not be the truth. In fact, you're not going to want to have that many people because the overhead is going to be a headache. That's why most people, they just love it being on themselves or they use automation. I mean, think about it. If businesses didn't have to hire people and everything could be run by a robot, would they really continue? You think you're gonna feel happier? Oh, if I'm gonna have a business, everything's gonna go fine. I'm gonna feel happy, fulfilled, and people are gonna love me. Sorry, mate, or honey, but <laughs> that's just a dream. If you generally have uh, mindset problems, then you need to get those fixed first before you jump into a business. Statistics show that one in three entrepreneurs experience depression and stress because it takes a lot out of you. Everything is your responsibility. And if you have kids and you've got a house to pay off and you're running out on debt, then that's even more headache. You wanna do this when you have a clear mind. You're trying to find your life's purpose. I know on YouTube you have people with CEO life, entrepreneur life, be like me. Look over here with my Lamborghini and my sexy girls and all the money I have. And you can have it too, just click the link. But is that really what you want? Do you really want to be an entrepreneur? Do you really want to own your own business? Or maybe you just like the challenge that it gives you. Maybe you're just still trying to find what you really want to do in life. That's all right. I know right now the entrepreneur thing is being thrown around like crazy, but take a step back. What truly interests you? Maybe you don't want to start your own business. I understand what it's like to look around and see, what am I here for? What am I on this life to do? But don't just run over because everyone's talking about entrepreneurship. Maybe it's not for you. Maybe you just want to be a guy who helps out in charity or likes his job and just helps out his boss. It doesn't matter. Well, wrapping up, being an entrepreneur is hard and a lot of them fail. So if that really is what you want to do, then I'm still amazed that you're here and I haven't scared you off. But your time is running out. Right now, Everyone is pitching the idea of being an entrepreneur, make money online, how it's so easy to work from your mum's basement. But the truth is that it's getting more and more saturated every single day. And this really is your last chance. I generally believe that entrepreneurship is dying, as in online at least. Too many people are doing it and they're jumping on this bandwagon. If you are one of the people who want to get started, your time is now. This is your last chance. 
to get the exact steps, tips, tricks, support, and to have real live people come and help you, or else you're screwed, my friend. You need a mentor. If you come to the blog, you're going to also see a video from Alex Becker that goes into deeper information about why entrepreneurship is a lie and why this whole perception has been fooled by the media. I want you to go to the blog. The link will be in the description of this video. I want you to click on it, come in with an open mind and actually learn why I believe entrepreneurship is dying and it's a lie. Click the link in the description now to learn more. I'll wait. Come on, I'm serious. Click the link in the description. It will go right to this video and you can discover the reasons, the seven reasons why entrepreneurship is a lie in further detail and what you can do to prevent this from happening. I'll see you there. It's your decision after all. Don't let this miss you. Link will be in the description. Click now.